The Apple IV Season 1 is right around the corner and we know that some parts of Renown will have to be grinded again. In this video I am showing you my plan on how to optimize getting Renown through side quests and dungeons for each zone. With the route you will end up unlocking 3 or 4 milestones for the Renown for that zone. I will show you all the locations on the map as we go through the steps as well as a Renown counter in the top right. Lastly I'll have the playlist for all the zones in the description. Let's get started for dry steps. First we are going to start in Ked Bardu and we're going to head south to complete the stronghold the Onyx Watchtower. After completing this we will get the waypoint as well unlocked. We are going to head south to the little village in order to pick up Consumed by Pride. Complete this quest by going to the Barbarian Camping Scythe in the south. You will also want to kill the cannibals on your way to complete Consumed by Pride as they will drop an item that starts a quest for just essentially free renown and that quest is currencies from afar. Once we complete the quest we're going to head east to complete the stronghold Temple of Rot. After we complete the stronghold we're going to return back to turn in consumed by pride and we're going to pick up the next quest raising spears. Go south to the dungeon champions demise and complete the dungeon and the side quest raising spears. Once we complete the dungeon we're going to use the leave dungeon emote and we're going to head west over to Jirondai to pick up the waypoint. Also we're going to pick up in that town the quest Augury of Bones and we're also going to turn in that quest Currencies from Afar. We're going to head to the location on the map for Augury of Bones where the NPC is to complete that quest and he's going to give us a new quest Hubris Smiles Back. In order to get the next quest you first have to just kill some skeletons in the area, get their bone dust, give it to him and then he's going to give you that Hubris Smiles Back quest. We're gonna head north back to the village with the barbarians to turn in the quest Raising Spears and we're gonna pick up the next quest Fury Against Fate. This quest is kind of bugged right now. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can give it a try, maybe you get lucky or they might just fix it in season one. You go down to the quest specific dungeon Wasting Hollow and you talk to the NPC at the beginning. If it doesn't bug out after their speech they charge to the gate to the north and then you're able to destroy it and you're good. You can complete the rest of the dungeon. But if they stand still the gate is immune, doesn't take any damage so it's bugged. There is a reddit post on how you can leave the dungeon, log out, log back in a couple times until it starts working. I personally tried this 30 plus times and it never worked so you can choose to skip this step or re revisit it later. If you manage to complete Fury Against Fate, you turn it in and pick up the next quest which is worthy of Ariat. This one leads you to Ancient's Lament dungeon so Complete that if possible and then turn in the quest. Head east to complete the stronghold ruins of Kara Yisu. Once completed you will also unlock the waypoint for that city. You're gonna head north to the hidden overlook to get that waypoint as well and then we're gonna head east to the NPC like surrounded by some uh, demons to accept the quest curious curios. It's going to ask you to click on a bunch of uh, pots. I think the one that is always uh, the completing one is to the uh, bottom left. Once you complete that we're going to head north to Fate's Retreat. We're going to get that waypoint and that is also where we're going to turn into quest Curious Curios and we're going to pick up the next quest in the name of love. We're going to head to the Whispering Vault in order to complete the dungeon and that quest in the name of love. Once we complete it we teleport back to Fate's Retreat to turn into quest and then we're going to head over to the Grinning Labyrinth Dungeon in order to complete the dungeon and the quest Hubris Smiles Back. Take note that once you complete this dungeon you want to leave it because you have to actually talk to the NPC again outside of the entrance in order to complete the quest completely. Now we have all the dungeons completed all that is left is just running around to get the last two waypoints. We're gonna head to Kedbardu and run east to pick up the Farboru waypoint and then we're gonna teleport to Jirondai and run northeast to pick up the last waypoint which is Alzura which is that uh, Fields of Hatred zone. And then we're done with this zone. With this run completed we are going to end up at 1375 Renown or 1305 if the quest Fury Against Fate ends up being bugged. This is going to get you well over the three milestones so you can unlock all of your skill points and put you in a pretty good spot to complete 
the last few milestones once you get into tier three and four. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any suggestions on this run. If you like this type of content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to see more. In case you want to check out the other zones, you can click on the playlist right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.